I'm John Batchelor, Thaddeus McCotter, WJR, the great voice of the Great Lakes, and a guy from Midwest. That's Thaddeus McCotter. And David Drucker, Washington Examiner, a guy from California. Gentlemen, here's the puzzle. This early in the process with Scott Walker, a Gen Xer, a prominent name in the Republican Party, but not a national figure by any means. He's governor of Wisconsin and has conservative... Uh, success in Wisconsin against some very strong resistance from the unions, uh, which are part of the Democratic machine. Scott Walker is in London to raise money for Wisconsin, and suddenly the Washington Post comes out with a revelation that Scott Walker did not finish Marquette University. He attended through three years plus, but did not have enough credits to graduate. He left college, went to work for the Red Cross, and never went back and got his degree. David, we're all puzzled. Was this supposed to be the killer article that put Scott Walker down as a candidate? Is that, is that how the Washington Post pitched this? Well, look, full disclosure, I left college for a good eight years before eventually going back to finish. So, I don't know if I'm a little biased here on, on people who don't necessarily finish college, but I think this is part of what happens when you run for president. You have to be prepared for it. People are going to look into every little nook and cranny of your background, especially if you're a Republican. It's just the way it is. Um, and the press is going to report it out, always with a sort of skeptical eye of why it might suggest you're not quite qualified to be president. And, and I think Scott Walker... If he wants to be, if he wants to be president, he's going to have to deal with this. There's probably going to be a lot more where this came from, and he has to prepare for it accordingly. Thaddeus, you're a guy from the Midwest. Scott Walker is a guy from the Midwest. What are the Democrats up to here, Thaddeus? Can you can you think through this to hit a guy because he didn't finish college? Well, I think. The problem is the left is starting to reveal its hand a little too quickly. To go after Governor Walker, my fellow Gen X Midwesterner, and actually he did go to a Jesuit school like myself. So when they attack him, that's a full disclaimer, but when they attack him like this, John, it shows that they're very worried about him. And while the general population may not quite have the name recognition of Governor Walker, certainly the political mavens and those who pay attention to these sorts of things are very well aware of him. And I think that from the left's point of view, a Midwestern governor that can be new for the Republican Party, that is battle-tested and has beaten the unions in his own backyard is very disconcerting to them, especially because I truly believe they'd like to run against Jeb Bush and take that whole legacy of the Clintons off the table by putting it head-to-head -head with the Bush legacy. I like that, David. I like the idea that the Washington Post and the New York Times went after Walker because that's the one they fear. It doesn't make any sense, David. He hasn't done anything scary. So no, but he's risen to the top of the polls rather early. He had a good showing in Iowa a few weeks back, all of a sudden he's one or two in all of the early states, um, and everybody understands what I think a lot of us knew a couple of years ago. He has a chance to be a major contender for the presidency. You know, he may not at the end of the day, but he's really well positioned. He's a second-term governor. He's governed well. He's politicked well. Uh, even if you don't, you know, if you don't agree with him, you don't agree with him because he's been so effective at moving uh, legislation and policies that are important to him. And so this is what's going to happen. Look, this whole didn't go to college thing, it's definitely odd. It's either since Truman or Eisenhower that we've had somebody that didn't, you know, grant what, that was president and did not have a Bachelor of Arts or whatever degree. Truman. So different. And, and, and voters are going to, you know, think about that. D David, David, wait, wait. wait. He, did, he was disruptive in French class. How do you get that past an editor at the Washington Post? How does that well, now stand we're up? talking about the story. Yeah, well. The but, story but, is a different <laughs> right. And, and the story is different. And the, the idea that there was something nefarious is either the writer's opinion. Or the writer actually doesn't understand that a lot of people just leave school for various reasons. Some of them go back like I did, and some of them don't. Thaddeus, nothing nefarious well, about Thaddeus, my, Thaddeus, Scott Walker was disruptive in French class. The, the Washington Post devoted its full resources to confirming that fact. Now, it, this, this is where the left is very, very smart. Because they know the conservatives that see Walker get attacked by the New York Times or the Washington Post are going to think highly of Walker. Right, what makes right. us very suspicious is the fact 
the Governor Walker took French class. Yes. Well, I'm that, having trouble getting past that. It's true, but it was Marquette University. That's a clue here as they well. They should have taught him Latin. A uh, detail also. He goes to work for the Red Cross. I guess there'll be more exploring on that, David, if they're going to go into his uh, uh, into his post college record. Yeah, look, I predict they'll find out that you know they'll they'll uncover that he didn't really do much at the Red Cross. Right. Right. Exactly. Okay, so so you believe at this point that this validates Scott Walker's early status as a candidate. Is it his age, David? I, that is, I ask you this as well. Is it his age because he's young? Is that a problem because they are, they are concerned with Mrs. Clinton's non-youth? There's this great pundit that you have on. His name's David Drucker, and he always talks about how it may be time for the Republicans to have someone new, someone yes, fresh, someone yes, forward-looking. Yes. And this may be some of the rationale behind the attack. This is not fair. This is two Gen Xers bo- uh, g- ganging up on an old boomer here. Go ahead, Drucker. Hey, look, I, I think that this is what happens when you run for president, and particularly if you're a Republican. Don't forget, George W. Bush, in the 2000 campaign, had a Yale degree, had an MBA from Harvard, or I may have you know reversed them, and they didn't like him because he wasn't good at putting two sentences together, so he was stupid. So here you have a governor who can put two sentences together, who's generally been effective. The people that disagree with him don't like him because he's been effective. That's fine. So we found out that he's so smart he didn't go to college or didn't finish. They're always going to find something. Part of that is just what you deal with when you run for president, and you just have to deal with it and not complain about it. Uh, final detail, though. We've got less than a minute, David. When they asked him the Darwin question in London, are the, is that a joke, David? Was that like the onion getting a question in? I think that's how Europeans look at Republicans. I think that the governor really should have been more prepared to answer that question um, in a way that wouldn't have made headlines. And don't forget, part of the campaign now is the Twitter campaign and the social media right, campaign. Right, right. Whether or not a question's fair is fair is irrelevant. It's just how you're going to do with voters. Thaddeus, I confess to you, I wish that I had been disruptive in French class. I really do. I don't have that in my record. Well, I would hope that when Governor Walker goes to Britain that he's a little disruptive with the Brits looking down their snooty noses yes, at did. a Midwest governor. They were snobby. Thaddeus McCotter, a guy from the Midwest. Jesuit-educated guy from the Midwest. Scott Walker, Jesuit-educated guy from the Midwest. David Drucker from California and the Washington Examiner reporter on the Hill. I'm John Batchelor, an old boomer, guy from the East. John Batchelor Show.